This tutorial explains how to generate a barcode in FileMaker 14 on Windows using the native barcode generator for FileMaker. This product is a set of FileMaker custom functions that generate barcodes without any other dependencies. The custom functions create a barcode from an already installed system font such as Courier New. I will explain how to extract the product file, import the functions into FileMaker, and generate a Code 128 barcode. The example uses the licensed version of the native generator for FileMaker. Download the native barcode generator. Right click the file and select Extract All. Continue through the extraction process. Open the native barcode generator file folder. For previous versions of FileMaker, use the previous version 32-bit plugin for FileMaker 11 and under. The custom functions are available in the barcode generator example file. Keep this file available for FileMaker projects as it includes functions to generate the barcode. This file is the product. Minimize the folder. Open a FileMaker project. I'll work with a file named My File. Let's generate barcodes based on a field in the database. Switch to Layout Mode. Select View, Layout Mode. Let's import the native generator custom functions. Select File, Manage, Custom Functions. In the Manage Custom Functions window, select Import. Select the Barcode Generator example file from the ID Automation package. Several functions are available to import including Code 128 Auto, A, B, and C, as well as I-205 and Code 39. Select one function, then press Ctrl A and the spacebar to select the remaining functions. Because each function relies on the other functions in the package, it is necessary to import all functions. Failure to import all functions in this step will result in empty fields instead of barcodes. Select OK. In the Import Summary, check to make sure that all files have been imported and then select OK. The custom functions are imported into the FileMaker project. Select OK. Let's set up the field. Select File, Manage, Database. In the Field tab, create a calculated field that will contain the generated barcode. In this example, I've named the field My Barcode. Set the type to Calculation. Select Create. In the list, choose the appropriate function. All ID Automation barcode functions begin with ID Automation underscore NAT. Select the function. The data to encode parameter holds the data to turn into the barcode. Select data to encode 
and then choose the field. The second parameter, bar height, controls the barcode height. Select the data to encode and click the field to insert. Set the bar height to a numeric value. 8 is the default. Set the calculation result to text and then select OK. Select OK. There are two ways to set up the field. The first option is to open the FileMaker database included with the package, change to layout mode, and copy the field to the clipboard. Paste the field into the database that will generate the barcode, then specify the field. This is the recommended solution. The second option is to insert the field manually by selecting Insert Field. Select the field to insert and choose OK. Expand the field. Right click the text field and select Specify Field. Select the field name to open the inspector. Select the Appearance tab. Scroll down to the text options. Set the font to Courier New. When generating 2D barcodes, such as Data Matrix or PDF417, set the font to Consolas. Set the font size to 4 points, which is a barcode X dimension of 16 mils. In the paragraph options, set the alignment to center so that the appropriate amount of white space appears around the barcode. Set the line spacing height to 0.99. Close the inspector. Select View and then choose Browse Mode. A barcode is generated. Troubleshooting. If the barcode appears distorted, similar to this image, there are five actions that you can take to resolve the issue. Verify the font selected as a monospaced system font such as Courier New or Consolas. Verify the font size is 4 points. Verify the line spacing height is 0.98 or 0.99. Verify the alignment is center so that the appropriate amount of white space appears around the barcode. Verify the barcode field is large enough to display the entire barcode.